Hey everybody, how you doing today? Just on my way home. Ah, another day finished at the lovely toy store I work at. Beautiful place. Uh, gotten a lot slower, as you can imagine, but still lots and lots to do, lots of cleaning up, lots of recovering, uh, lots of getting ready for the inevitable day where the children arrive once again. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I miss the kids a lot. I had a trio of children today stand in front of my store as I handed their mother a gift and they all simultaneously said thank you in chorus. Mm, I felt like I was like a little elf, just like, gifts, gifts for you. <laughs> it was very nice, it was very sweet. Um, I think the big news today is actually a very personal story about how this channel gained, uh, in like one video, this channel got 12 new subscribers. Uh, which for this channel is an increase of about 30% uh, in viewership. And it was exactly for the, like, a couple of, you can go back and take a look. I did a, I did a whole, like, long half hour talk about how I want to, I need to start being more active. I need to start being bolder with spreading this stuff around and, and, and spreading it uh, 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 around on the internet and all that kind of stuff. And, and, and I, I kept feeling like, I, I, oh, I don't want to impose. There was like this imposition idea that I was like, oh, I'm going to put my face in your face. And I just kind of came to the conclusion that I had to get over it and I did have to do it. Immediately rewarded. Immediately rewarded. Hello, 10 new viewers. Hello. Greetings and salutations. How are you doing? I'm really, really glad you guys are here. Uh, please, I'm encouraging everybody once again, please uh, join in on the comment section. Please, I, I really do try to um, respond to people in the comment section if you have a question, if you want me to talk about anything. Uh, please, please, please put it down in the comment section. Um, I'll do videos directed directly at people's comments. Uh, I'll do videos uh, to talk about pretty much any subject, just so long as people are respectful, just so long as people are being genuine in their commentary. And honestly, sometimes if you're being like an antagonistic dick, I've definitely had people come on here and come into the comments and try to antagonize and try to uh, belittle what it is we're attempting to accomplish here. Um, and I've responded to them and then they've gone away. So, uh, but I do think that responding to those types of people is still a useful exercise because it sharpens your blade, so to speak. Uh, so please, please participate, please join, please uh, spread these this stuff around. Please spread this stuff around, really, because I think fundamentally what this channel is about and what it is we are attempting to do here is to, first of all, a normalize uh, anti-capitalist ideas, um, ideas that come from communism, that come from socialism. I myself, uh, I myself say that I am a communist because I have no problem allying myself in direct. Uh, confrontation with the capitalist class. Like, I'm not interested in capitalism. I think it's a failed ideology that doesn't work. Uh, I think it's proven that over and over again. It was born out of slavery and has perpetuated that slavery uh, and spread slavery. Uh, and it takes over every institution and every uh, established tradition that we have in order to exploit it and commodify it. That is capitalism. It is how it works. And... It, it requires putting the populace in fear. It requires putting the populace into a state of anxiety and depression. It requires that the workforce live in a state of perpetual concern and worry for their own survival and employment. Uh, and it, 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 it will do everything it can to ensure that any gains that had been made through the previous generation uh, get eliminated. And it's been very effective at doing that. And it's been very effective at uh, declawing any kind of labor movement or any kind of effort to swing back. To, to a degree where down in the United States they uh, down in the United States they straight out can't get health care in the middle of a pandemic. Like, that's how crushed labor has become in Western co countries, to the detriment of those countries, without, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, 
I typically like to talk Canadian politics on this channel, uh, but uh, Canadian politics right now is pretty boring, honestly. Everything's kind of just a consolidation uh, of the previous month's ideas, right? The Ford administration, I live in Ontario, I live in Toronto. The Ford administration is, by and large, uh, a do-nothing government, government-free government, governance-free government. I did it, I said it, I, I made it. They, uh, their position is that they are not going to govern, uh, really, like that's what it is. It, uh, their government is about making business deals so they can profit. The way that Mike Harris made a business deal with uh, uh, privatizing long-term care homes uh, for himself and others so that they could exploit the desperation of uh, poor the poor elderly. Uh, you can just go read the report uh, published by the uh, Canadian military about uh, the conditions of those care homes. So the... Uh, and this is what the Ford administration is there for. They're not there to govern, right? They're not there to actually look at, at social ideas and concepts. And, and they're certainly not there to be like, how do we improve the lives of our citizens? They're definitely not interested in that. They're interested in enriching themselves. And, and, and again, I don't, mean like, uh, I don't mean like conservatives generally. I don't mean like conservative voters. I mean literally Doug Ford wants to make Doug Ford rich. Uh, and that's the end of the conversation. And anything that any other conservative in his caucus can do to make themselves rich, they'll do. And they'll do like little favors for themselves, for, for each other, in order to... Uh, like if I uh, help uh, Christine Elliott with this, Christine Elliott will help me with that. And, and we'll make each other rich. Uh, and if it means that we need to exploit a bunch of elderly people... Uh, that's great. If that means that we need to consign an entire generation into wage slavery, that's great. We're 100% we're going to do that because they don't, they literally don't care about anyone other than themselves. Um, and it's, it's obvious it's at this point, like, I, I just don't think it's even a debatable point. Like it's obvious if they cared about other people, they would do something for other people. Uh, and this COVID, uh, and so the, we're all dealing with sort of the fallout of their inaction on the COVID file, right? Like, they put everything into curbside. Uh, uh, getting them to do so was like pulling teeth. They were way late. They were super far behind the curve. And then finally they got everything to curbside. And then they came out and, and had a big announcement to make to everybody. And everybody I spoke with, literally everybody I spoke with, without exception, was dead convinced that they were going to do at least a two-week lockdown. Uh, and then they announced that they're just going to do more curbside, uh, 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 just spread curbside out across the, the province. And it, and it's worth pointing out, this curbside thing hasn't actually worked. The numbers still go up. So, like, the Ford administration really, like, they've convinced gullible people that they are uh, doing stuff because uh, uh, they get Doug Ford on TV every day. That's really what it comes down to. They get Doug Ford on TV every single day, and that's the same as governor, uh, if you're a conservative. Uh, so, and and it's the real emptiness of the conservative ideology and the reason why it's so desperately uh, evil and so desperately bad for our society is that it really does boil down to uh, do nothing. Like, keep things how they are. Which, if everyone is you know, feasting and living well and doing all this kind of stuff, there's, there's a rationale to that, sure. But people are literally drowning. Like, like people are, sorry, figuratively drowning. <laughs> My bad. But people are drowning. Like, they're drowning. They're, they are dying in this society. They're freezing to death. Uh, they're, uh, 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 the, people are having to choose between rent and food. People are having to choose between having heat and food. People are having to choose... Uh, which necessity they can do without. Uh, because the system is 100% structured to destroy them. And if you are living in a society uh, that is like that and you are a conservative, then you're a radical evil. And there's just nothing more to say about it. Like people like... Uh, uh, people like... Um, 
Oh, Aaron O'Toole. I did it. People like Aaron O'Toole, like, here's a guy who is literally, like, follows, like, pro-slavery organizations, uh, denies, uh, uh, denies the existence or the seriousness of the residential school system, right? And he's in serious contention to become leader of the country. Uh, and there just comes a point where you have to start asking, like, what's wrong with us? What's wrong with Canadians? Like, why are we looking at these uh, people who are obviously not interested in helping anyone, who, who, who are obviously in it for themselves, who are obviously grifters, and we just keep supporting them and we just keep going along. Like, what is happening? Why can we not get any political movement moving in any regard? Why? And I think what it really boils down to is that there are a lot of people in the world like me, right? Or there are a lot of people who have the opinions that I have, okay? There's only one of me, baby. But there are a lot of people in the world who have the opinions that I have, but they're afraid to voice them because they they believe that they are the odd one out. That they feel as though if they voice these opinions, they're going to get pushed back down by the, the leadership that they see, which is overt and naked sociopathic behavior. Uh, and I think that this channel and why I think ultimately this channel is going to succeed and why I personally need to have more courage about spreading this channel around and speaking the way I do openly is because more and more people need to see that more and more people think the way they think. That the ideas that they have in their heads about how to exist in this society, about the injustices they experience, uh, 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 about how we could collectively improve our society, are accurate. That, yeah, we definitely uh, can provide uh, housing and shelter and food to everyone. It would actually be cheaper than what we do right now. That's not an odd idea. What's odd is that our leadership isn't moving on it. Uh, what's odd is that we continue to support leaders who continue to sell us to a wage slave system that, incidentally, if you haven't noticed, is completely designed to destroy not only us, not only our country, but our entire species. Right? Anyone else notice that? I have. Meanwhile, the liberals get to stand up and say they're doing something about it. Well, they do literally fuck all. They ban straws. Ooh. Ooh. They banned straws, you guys. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna, uh, uh, raise tax on pollution by 0.02%. Ooh. On margin so thin, the billionaires won't even notice it. Like that's literally an accounting error. Like it's 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 embarrassing how pathetic, how low our expectations are. It's it's embarrassing how pathetic we are as a people to look at these uh, 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 these leaders and these politicians who are doing nothing but having brunch with one another, right? Uh, uh, and then occasionally just throw out the most meager, insignificant scrap of nonsense, nothing. And we're all supposed to go, yeah, those liberals, they really care about us. Yeah, they really care. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the liberal conservative alliance. And that's another thing that we need to be talking about a lot more openly. The liberal conservative alliance. Those guys are allied for sure. And I think you're bonkers if you don't think that. Like, the liberals are not working against the conservatives. They work with the conservatives. They're the good cop and the good cop, bad cop arrangement. Don't you forget it. Anyway, uh, this video literally was just like the highlights hits of my last year, honestly. Uh, uh, really for the newbies. Uh, welcome aboard, guys. Glad to have you. I'm quite serious. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please send the likes, the dings, all, all the dumb stuff. Please do all of it. It makes me feel good. It makes everybody else feel good. It sparks conversation. Uh, uh, it creates solidarity. And that's what this is about more than anything creating solidarity because I don't see enough of that happening I don't see enough of that happening and I see a lot of energy pushing against us alright that's the end of me guys good luck